Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm actually gonna answer a question that a follower had. And that question was, how, if I wash a scarf made from homespun yarn and there's fringe on the end, what will happen? Or what is the best way to wash a scarf made of homespun yarn and has fringe on the end? And I thought, what a great question that I can experiment with in a video and show you me washing a scarf made from homespun yarn and has fringe. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects. And you're not going to want to miss out. All right, so let's go ahead and go to what happens when I put a homespun scarf in the washing machine. Homespun scarf with the fringe. Let's see what happens when I wash it. So the washing instructions say to wash in the washing machine on cold. I think I'm going to make sure it's on perm press just because I want to be safe and cold. Make sure it says, oh, it says warm, so I'm going to change it to cold. Great. All right, let's see what happens. And when it is all done, pull it out of the washing machine here. Okay, into the dryer. And it says that we can tumble dry to dry the homespun yarn. Okay. And I'm going to place it on perm press, normal. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, pulling it out of the dryer. And what do I see? Okay, so it is dry. That's what the fibers look like. Okay. The fringe on the bottom probably needs to be straightened a little bit. I mean, it did just come out of the dryer. Okay, some of the fringe on the bottom, just need to clean that up a little bit. You could take some scissors just to straighten everything out if you wanted to, but right now it just looks like it needs some fuzz removal. So let me take the whole thing out and put this fuzz right there on the counter. Okay, I'm gonna lay this whole thing out so you can see what it looks like, the homespun yarn scarf after it's gone through the washer and dryer. So again, this is how the fuzz looks, or the fringe looks on the end. And so I comb it with my fingers. I'd probably take some scissors and just clean up all these little ends right here. Not a big deal. I mean, that's the nature of yarn that has never been washed okay but the scarf itself it looks pretty good let you see that with me what you think little bit of fuzzes just because again went through the dryer but it doesn't it's not ruined it actually looks fine. The texture is a little stiff, but that again will just relax as the yarn relaxes also. And then this side just needs to be combed through with the fingers. And there you go. Okay, so I'm trying a second technique on washing a 
scarf made with homespun yarn. So with the first technique that I tried, I just used the perm press, cold temperature, and then on the dryer, I used a perm press, where are you? There you are, I used perm press to dry. This time, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a softener. I didn't do this the first time, so in this, this go, I'm going to add a fabric softener and then a dryer softener to see how that affects. I will also, when I dry, I'm gonna dry on air dry. I'm gonna really focus on air drying to see how that affects the fibers because the first time I washed this scarf using the washing directions that they had on the skein of yarn, it left the scarf feeling a little rougher than when I first put it in the washing machine. It was so soft like we all know homespun yarn is, but after I washed it, it came out a little rough. And the fringe, the fringe looks really pretty. It definitely did fringe it out but it has a very pretty look to it. So I attached new fringe to see what happens with this second technique when I do wash it with a softener and I air dry it. Okay, so let's give it a go. Let's see how this, how this goes. So I'm putting the scarf in the washing machine all by itself. I'm going to close the door. Okay, I have already put the soap in here. I've already put the softener in here. Close that up. Turn it on. Okay, have it set to perm press and temperature. I want cold and go. Right, so I will see you when it is all done and with the washing machine and ready to move to the dryer and we'll see how it turns out with this second strategy. Okay, so the washing machine is all done. Let's pull out our scarf. Now let's see how it looks. So here are the extra pieces that I just added to the side to see how it looks coming out of the washing machine. Okay, so the washing machine, they're still pretty much intact. They're a little bit tangled at the bottom, which I can, if I had two hands, <laughs> could undo. So they really don't look bad right there. And here, let me go ahead and untangle them real quick. Okay, so here's how the strands look out of the washing machine. The whole scarf in general, Still feels like it did before I put it in the wash. Soft, but a little stiffer than when I first originally made the scarf. Here is a close up view of what we're looking at. Okay, and then the edges here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the dryer, but this time I'm only going to put it in for air dry. That's all I want to do, something really light. I am going to add a dryer softener so that way there's no static that accrues with the fibers. Okay, so I turn it on. And I'm going for Air fluff. <laughs> yep, we're gonna go for air fluff. Because I want it to be as natural and airy as possible. I'm gonna just let it go on its normal, small, quick. Ooh, it was on 20, so I'm gonna go put it back to 20 minutes and go. So that should just be an air dry setting, and we will see how it turns out as soon as it is done. Okay, let's see what happened. Diving in here. Okay, here is our scarf. Pull that out. Lay that there. Okay, let's lay this flat so we can see what we're working with here. Okay, so with round two, we used the fabric softener to wash. We used the 
dryer softener, and we air dried. We did not do gentle cycle. We just did air dry. So what I'm feeling already is the, the yarn is softer than when I just used a regular laundry detergent and no softeners. The yarn is much softer to the touch. When I look at the strands, the strands look a lot more like they stayed together than when I ran the washer dryer on the gentle cycle. So when I did the gentle cycle, the strands, they're poofy, but they did start to fray a bit. And that's okay, it still looks beautiful. But when I just did the air dry, I didn't, with, with drying, I just did air dry, they seem to stay together a little better. And there, I'll show you. The ends did fray just a tiny bit, but not, nothing like a full fray like these guys did, okay? So when I compare the two different ways that I washed this scarf made with homespun yarn, I think that I preferred the outcome of the scarf when I used the, the fabric softener, liquid soap, along with the regular soap. Again, I did perm press cold and the dryer softener and the air dry. So I used air fluff on my washing or, or drying machine, but you may have a setting that says air dry, or what you could do is right after taking it out of the washing machine, just lay it flat to dry. That's probably going to be your best bet to make the yarn just a little bit softer. All right. Pretty interesting information, right? Well, I really hope you found this video helpful or at least informative. I will include in the description section below all of the soaps and detergents and dryer softeners that I used if you want to use the same thing that I did. Uh, if you do have a question about a specific yarn or a project that you would like to see what happens when it gets washed or best washing techniques or methods for a specific yarn or project, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I will see what I can do about making a video on that. Uh, also, if you would like, you can also send me a, a skein of yarn or a ball of yarn. I have a PO box located in the uh, description section. I can also include it in the comment section where it's um, where you can send me things if there is a specific skein of yarn and you're like, how do I wash this or what are the care what do the care instructions mean or um, when I make something with this particular yarn, how do I, what are the care instructions? Like, how do I wash it for best results? And I can play with it and wash it <laughs> and show you what happens, the do's and don'ts. And it could be really cool. This could be a really interesting, informative direction to take some videos just to help you. Let me make the mistakes. Let me wash the item. Let me see what was the best strategy for taking care of something. And that way you can have a more informative way of washing your item or cleansing your item. Sound great? Well, I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, you might also really like these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.